Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. This is Sue Grinnell. And um, before we dive into this um, web discussion, um, I just want to encourage you to put yourselves on mute and um, also encourage you to use the chat box <clears throat> you know, during the discussion. And then we're going to open it up for dialogue after the presentation. I also wanted to let you know, just kind of give a little bit of context for where we're at, because I think sometimes we might forget um, the, about the seven catchy core elements. And the first one being shared vision and goals. And a lot of you selected that as one of the elements that you wanted to work on. Most recently, um, I learned from Barb Masters that they've made some changes in the catchy core elements. And instead of referencing as um, partnerships as one element and leadership and governance as another, they've combined governance, um, partnerships and leadership into one element, and they have added resident engagement. Um, so that's fairly new and I think it's a great addition because I know a lot of you are working on that. The Backbone organization, which um, you most of you are all from, and then data analytics and sharing capacity, uh, wellness fund and sustainability. And so today we're going to hear information about the issue of sustainability and how others have done some financing and funding. And then lastly, the portfolio of interventions. So listed here are the five different um, interventions that you in partnership with your ACH membership are working to identify. And so we've held a variety of different financing web discussions starting in January. You know, we've, we heard from Jim Hester on various types of innovations in population health financing. We heard from Allison Rain and Brendan O'Connor um, about um, private capital. Then we most recently heard from Robin Hackey on the issue of community investment. Today, we're gonna hear from Enrique Martinez Vidal and um, Susan Kennedy about their lessons learned from the Payment Reform for Population Health Initiative. And then on June 27th, um, we will pro be providing an overview of community benefit and each one of you will get a one pager that has information from your local area community benefit. And then lastly, moving into the issue of portfolio of interventions. Um, so I really encourage you to take a look at these. Um, not all of these have I sent out invites, um, but these are upcoming um, different um, web discussions around the issue of portfolio of interventions. So with that, I'm going to turn this over to Enrique and Susan. Um, both of them are from Academy Health. Enrique is a vice president there, and Susan is a senior manager. And they're going to share their information and lessons learned from this initiative that was funded by Robert Wood Johnson. And they've asked that we hold questions until the end. So I encourage you, if you have questions, uh, to put them in the chat box. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Enrique and Susan. Great. Thanks, Sue. Can everybody hear me? Mm -hmm. We'll assume so. Yeah. Uh, we unmuted. Um, <laughs> I can hear you. We're yes. sharing the screen. So can you see the slides as well? Yes. OK, great. So thanks for inviting us to, to do a little talk about what we found under our project. Um, first of all, I'm Enrique Martinez Vidal. I'm a vice president here at Academy Health. I'm here with Susan, a senior manager, and we sort of headed up the work for, for Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, as, as Sue mentioned. Um, maybe just for 30 seconds, for folks who don't know who Academy Health is, we're a, a nonprofit, nonpartisan national organization located in Washington, D.C. Um, we really, we, we basically are a, 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 a professional organization of health services researchers and policymakers. And our mission is to really make sure that there's good evidence 